This is the Sabbath School lesson for the second quarter, 2021. Monday, May 10. The Pattern of Salvation. Say therefore, we read in Exodus chapter 6, verses 6 and 7, to the people of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will deliver you from their bondage, and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great acts of judgment. And I will take you for my people, and I will be your God, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God, who has brought you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. Look at the above verses. What principle do we see in them, as before, regarding the role of God toward humanity in the covenant relationship? Focus on how often the word I appears in those verses. So let's read that again. Exodus 6 verses 6 and 7. Say therefore to the people of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will deliver you from the bondage, and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great acts of judgment, and I will take you for my people, and I will be your God, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God, who has brought you out from under the burden of the Egyptians. The deliverance of Israel from Egyptian slavery and the deliverance of Noah and his family from the flood are the two prominent salvific events in the writings of Moses. Both provide insights into the science of salvation, but it is the Exodus event in particular that provides the basic pattern. When God says to Israel through Moses, I will redeem you, in verse 6, he literally says, I will act as the kinsman redeemer, or Goel. Writing in His Way Out, Bernard L. Ram, on page 50 of that book, writes... The word redeem in verse 6 of Exodus 6 refers to a member of a family buying back or ransoming another member of the family, especially when that member was in slavery for debt or about to go into slavery. Israel apparently had no earthly relative to redeem her, but God was now Israel's relative, her kinsman redeemer. Question. How do you understand the idea of God's ransoming or buying back his people from slavery? What was the price that had to be paid? What does that tell us about our worth? First of all, Mark 10.45 For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. And 1 Timothy 2 verse 6 who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. And Revelation 5 and verse 9, And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and have redeemed us to God by your blood, out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation. In Exodus chapter 3, verse 8, God says that he has come down to rescue Israel. This is a common Hebrew verb for God's interaction with humanity. God is in heaven and we are on earth, and only as God comes down to earth can he redeem us. In the truest sense of the idea, only when Jesus came down, lived, suffered, died, and was resurrected for us, could we be redeemed? And as it says in John one fourteen, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, is another way of saying that God came down in order to save us. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. It's supported by the Sabbath School Department and Hope Channel Australia and is rebroadcast by Christian Record Services and through podcasts at It Is Written in the United States, Hope Channel Germany and through Apple iTunes and SoundCloud. Remember, God is always faithful.